Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is the true urban warfare. I very much wanted to get over here. So we can actually see the true extent to how good the urban warfare AI actually is. And it seems like they're doing a very, very good job of taking cover here. Hello reformers and welcome back to Freeman. Now when we left off we actually did relatively well. We gained a huge amount of money and that means that I will be going on a bit of a shopping spree relatively soon to get Anna a little bit better gear because obviously right now we know, you know, she doesn't really have the greatest stuff. She has a lot of scavenged gear that we've been able to acquire with the exception of her flak vest, of course, because that was the one thing that I was actually able to purchase. I did just now equip some new boots for her because we actually did gain some, a uh, little bit of a minor upgrade for her. And so we're going to be hopefully upgrading the rest of her gear. She needs a new torso armor and she obviously does need new weapons in general because she's using an absolutely terrible rifle for her at the moment. I mean she's using it, it's decent, you know, it's not terrible, it's just there's many better options. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we are at night time here. This is actually one of the darkest night times that we've seen in quite a while actually so this is going to be kind of interesting to see how we do here well yeah this is really dark as you can see the moon is obscured by the clouds so obviously it is going to be a lot darker and i'm going to use night vision but just look at the the skybox it's looking really detailed and very uh, very magnificent shall we say anyway we are going to get out my wonderful weapon here we're going to go with night vision. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, yeah, I, I believe that one of you did actually say in the comments that there is a certain time of the night where it does get much, much darker. And obviously, this is it. Yes, this is definitely it. So, obviously, this is required to have night vision goggles because this is without it. You, you could still kind of see. But if you're in the shade or, you know, in the shadow of some rock or a bunch of trees or something like that, then you're going to have a difficult time seeing. And it's kind of difficult anyway. So we're going to see how we do here. Bear in mind, I do have a lovely, wonderful weapon. And we're hopefully going to be able to use it effectively here. Oh, it's just such a laser, isn't it? Look at that. Such a laser. That's really, really nice. I'm actually wondering where the enemies are now. because they're, Ah, there's one. a little bit of damage here but that's all right we did actually lose one from the loki squad but that isn't actually anything to worry about too much just yet wow there's actually a huge amount of people over there that is kind of scary i guess it is kind of scary so let's let's just move our guys a little bit more i have one grenade on me yeah grenades there we go okay one grenade i don't exactly know how it's going to do but let's hope that it's going to kill at least never mind it killed one really only killed one that is super sad well i'm gonna just try and uh, flank a little bit because there's a load of them around here and it would kind of make sense oh we lost a whole bunch from various squads i think there was a grenade going off there or something along those lines so that was really really bad but well that's how it goes that is just how it goes you know sometimes the enemies are going to get the drop on your units no matter what you're try what you try to do there's still this ragdoll issue here which is kind of, I, I find this kind of thing really amusing so i don't really mind but obviously you know <laughs> some people are going to get kind of upset about that but it's all right i, I think it's kind of fun to to see that obviously if i waste a you know a whole magazine clip slash whatever thing on on it then obviously that's going to be <laughs> really bad but uh yeah that's it's kind of my own fault for not seeing the hit markers or something like that is that guy dead yeah that guy's dead uh, I, mean, I mean it's more more than likely that the enemy is going to be in prone position or crouching or something like that rather than being completely stood up so yeah it seems like we've gone through the entirety of this area here ah there's there's someone shooting me from the left there he is Oh, 
I'm actually kind of surprised that the last enemy has not fled the battle. So that's kind of amusing to me, but oh well. Uh, it seems like he's kind of holding out quite well here so far. And do bear in mind, we actually have a couple of prisoners that I need to recruit. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Just going to tell my people just to go, you know, kind of in a, a random direction, basically. And we'll see if we can find him. It's kind of weird how he is not around here. I would assume that he's maybe back where they initially spawned. Yeah, there he is. Did you see him on the map there for that split second? Seems like he's over in this direction. So it's going to be easy enough to eliminate him, I suppose. Hopefully it's just a looter and not actually an armored marauder, because I might die against an armored marauder, so... Ah, there we go. Yep, it's just a regular looter. We did have five casualties. I don't exactly know whether they died or not. Hopefully they didn't. And otherwise I'm just going to take a bunch of loot here. We do have that extra little bit of inventory management to get soon as well, so hopefully that's going to work out nicely for us. We do have a little bit of extra ammo here. I'm going to just, you know, just take a couple of extra clips. I know how you love it when I say clips, so we're going to say clips a lot. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, obviously I'm just just kidding around. Anyway, we are going to be... Oh, we didn't get any, uh, we didn't get any other prisoners? Oh, that's kind of a shame. Oh, well, never mind. I guess we're just going to try and persuade them to join us. There we go. I don't know whether you noticed as well, but we have an extra squad in the form of Artemis squad. And I'm going to be placing some people in there. This is FCA. Hmm. These are FCA guys, so I think it might make sense. Hmm. Yeah, to place them in Anna's squad, or at least this one guy here. There we go. And then technically we could place some in Loki squad, but Loki is generally going to stay as kind of like a bandit squad. You know, because it's thematic, I guess. Otherwise, we're just going to leave Artemis the way it is, and we're going to level up everyone else. Look at these guys, just leveling up like nobody's business. Very, very nice indeed to see that. And, uh, yeah, my actual plan for this episode is to attempt a siege. If we can get our hands on a town that is, you know, reasonably... Mm, maybe not very well defended, then I think we're going to have a pretty good time of things here. I'm just going to still continue to get FCA Grenadiers for the moment, and uh, later down the line we're going to try and flesh out our ranks in a little bit of FCA Juggernaut action as well, because I feel like even though the FCA Juggernauts, they're not going to have the most offensive capability, it might make sense for us to have a couple of units that are capable of absorbing damage as much as possible. But anyway, I'm thinking we're going to attack the civilian forces. And uh, yeah, the, the main problem with that is that we have to fight 25 veteran freedom guards at Minov. And that's going to be kind of difficult. Although Zinkov is even worse. As you can see there, 25 veteran freedom guards as well. But they have many more units in general. So it's going to be kind of difficult. But anyway, let's move over here. I was actually hoping that I might be able to, you know, recruit a couple of bandits from that fight that we just had, but apparently not. Apparently we were just unlucky with that. But anyway, I'm going to now head into the weapon merchant and we'll see if I can buy some awesome stuff for Anna. I think this FCA army helmet, while it's really good in terms of its armor for just random loot that you're able to pick up, it's probably not going to be something that I'm going to be, uh, you know, using with anyone here. This SMG is, in my opinion, one of the better low-cost SMGs. So if you're just starting out and you want to use an SMG, highly recommend the Type 56. I think it's really great. It also does use pretty standard ammo, so you're able to find this ammo pretty readily. So yeah, that's really, really nice if you're going to start out using an SMG. Otherwise, we have already completely drained this merchant dry of all his cash, so we are going to otherwise move on. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is what happens when you have so much trading skill. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so we're going to get a uh, Spetsnaz helmet, and then... Should we get that? Or Marine helmet? Actually, you know what? We're going to get the marine helmet instead, because I feel like Anna could definitely use a little bit more camouflage. I don't know whether the NPCs or, the, or, or your companions actually take advantage of the camouflage, but her not being, shall we say, targeted as much is going to make a pretty big difference in my opinion. So we'll try that out a little bit. I do need to get her some... Do I need to get her some new pants? 
I might need to get her some new pants, so I guess we'll just buy her some new pants there as well. And I think she needs a new chess piece too, so let's see. Yeah, this is going to work. That's nice. I think that might actually be better than what I have. So maybe we can give her what we're wearing, what our old stuff is, and uh, she needs some new combat gloves as well. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to sell the rest of the stuff that we have in our inventory here. As we don't need it. Uh, technically, I might actually keep one of these boots just in case. I'm not entirely sure what kind of boots I'm wearing at the moment, so it might make sense. I did give one of these pairs to Anna already, so she's doing pretty well in that regard, and I think we're good. Okay. And we need to get her a new weapon as well, so let's get her something amazing, shall we? Let's get her something really, really awesome. I don't exactly know whether she requires marksmanship. Because if she doesn't require marksmanship, I don't think she does. I think she can use any weapon that is currently available. So it's either I give her an assault rifle of some kind, or I give her something that is a little bit heavier, shall we say. In other words, one of these, which is obviously 17,000. But I think it might be worth it. So I'm going to do that, actually. Is this, is this overkill for a companion? <laughs> it probably is. Probably is a little bit overkill, but we're going to do it nevertheless because I like to live dangerously a little bit, I guess, kind of. Anyway, what we're going to do as well is buy a little bit of our first aid kits and buy some grenades as well. There we go. Okay, so I just spent 17,000. That's kind of a lot, but uh, well, Anna's worth it. I think she's going to be really, really effective now, so hopefully that is how it's going to be. Otherwise, I'm just going to get a couple of more ARF guys. As we do have the space, I have three additional slots now, and we're just going to place these in the Artemis squad as well. Not all of them, obviously. We're just going to place a couple just to make them five, and then we're just going to disband this militia squad right there. There we go. Okay, so now we are in a much better position when it comes to our siege potential, I guess. All right, so she can use this. Yep, she can use that. That's absolutely crazy. And we'll give her the new marine helmet. And the flak vest is the best that she can wear right now. And her armor. Yeah, this armor might actually be really good for us. So for the moment, I'm just going to give her the forest camo. We'll give her some new pants. Those pants might actually be better for me as well. Uh, yeah, I'm very good at this, aren't I? Okay, and we're going to give her combat gloves. Wow, she is... Actually, probably better geared than I am now. Is that true? No. Well, yeah. I think these combat gloves are just as good. They're they're okay. And wait, no. This this is actually better for me. Okay. I, I'm sorry, Anna. I'm gonna have to take this for myself. I was thinking that I actually had better, but apparently not. And these pants. Technically, the pants I gave her are better. So I guess I'm just gonna leave leave her with those. I I don't really mind too much about that. And uh, we're going to take away one of the shotgun pe uh, shotgun pieces of ammo. And we're just going to put a grenade on there. Because you never know. Maybe a grenade's going to be kind of useful. All right. So otherwise, we're going to spend our money and upgrade her HP and upgrade her accuracy. This is going to make her even better than she already is. I'm going to be really, really like anticipating her to do amazing amounts of damage right now. So let's see how that's actually going to go. These guys are, well, they, they wanted to chase me a little bit, but uh, apparently they gave up slightly. All right, so we're going to rate wait here. Rate? No, we're not going to rate, rate, rate this time. We are going to wait here a little bit, and uh, we're going to go in after we have our forces regenerated a little bit. All right, so we are now going to be very much anticipating taking this and being able to hopefully take the first fief or first base of many because obviously we have the Chernivkin Front Rebellion here they are going to be the first faction we're going to target because for the most part they don't have the greatest units uh, I say that with kind of a bit of trepidation right there because I'm a bit worried about their veteran soldiers hmm we might have some issues here who knows who knows? I'm going to have to play very economically, and uh, I know I've used that term before, and basically it just means not taking any damage, using very little ammunition, being very efficient with my shots, and, uh, well, just seeing how we do. Alright. 
gonna get everyone as much as I can spawned in here. We're gonna take Anna and hopefully she's gonna beast everyone. I don't know whether that's gonna be the case, but we'll try our best. Otherwise, this is a very small area, isn't it? Look at that. It's a very, very small area. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take these three squads and we're gonna take them over here. I'm gonna just move them a little bit more like so. And then we're gonna move them from here. And we're gonna just spread them out a little bit. Like that. And I know that usually whenever I do something like this, it never really works out for the for the better. But I'm gonna try a little bit of a different tactic here because in general I'd like to employ more strategy and uh, a couple more in-depth tactics rather than just doing the line line offense line defense because generally those those formations are actually really really good and they do tend to make things very easy for me but uh, I didn't really want to do that continuously so we're gonna try our best it is now daytime as you can clearly see and we are going to hopefully eliminate the, uh, well, this is technically Urban Warfare 2.0, isn't it, for the opponent. They are going to be much, much better than usual. And uh, we'll see just how good they actually are. Because obviously we did venture in to a siege beforehand. But it was a very, very short siege. And this is going to be a little bit more long term, hopefully. But I'm a bit worried about it in general, because as I say, they do have veteran freedom guards and, and things like that, so they are obviously going to be very powerful. Freedom sniper right there. Wow, that was kind of close. Where is that guy? He's prone. I, I'm not going to be able to get him. Well, that didn't go well. No, that didn't go well at all. I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to try and get to the side there, but apparently that just was not a very good idea. So I suppose we're just going to go in once again. And uh, I'm going to heal myself if I can. I am at zero HP. I'm actually unsure what happens when you're at zero HP. Let's actually see what happens. So let's just, let's just get everyone deployed. And uh, am I... Ah, no, there we go. Okay, I, I get one, one HP. Okay, so I'm just going to heal myself. This is obviously a lot quicker than waiting for it. And uh, we're just going to let our forces just shoot at whatever patrols may appear. I really very badly wanted to get to that tent because I feel like that is going to give me the most opportunity for death and destruction and so on and so forth. So, yeah, it would be kind of nice for us to hopefully do that again if I can. But obviously, these things... Mm, they don't seem to be working out too well. Let's have a look here. All right. So we're going to move our forces like so. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time. Not too deep in. That's basically what we're going to try this time around. We're going to go a little bit more like so. Going to use the, the rocks a little bit more as well. And hopefully not be as close to each other too. And that's what we're going to do. All right. And I'm also going to use the rocks a little bit more too. Alright, so I'm actually in a pretty decent location here. I don't know whether you can see, but I am actually on some rocks. And I'm going to try my very best to not die this time. As I said, I'm just going to try and play economically and efficiently, but that didn't work out the previous time. So we're just going to do this a little bit differently here. As you can see, there seems to be someone in the distance there, and we're going to try and eliminate him. There we go. That was a Freedom Sniper. It's good to eliminate those. There's only about seven of them actually here. I'm very much hoping that Anna's going to get a couple of kills here. I'm actually unsure how effective she's going to be with that weapon, but... Well, I know that weapon to be extremely effective, so I would hope that she's actually going to be really, really good. I really don't want to continue taking damage, so I'm just going to go prone here, and we're going to see if there's any people shooting me, and then we'll try and eliminate those threats and then move on. Let's actually see what's going on here. All right, I'm going to have to move these guys. Like so. And we'll try and move these fellows up a little bit more. Try and move them like this. And there we go. All right, so now I'm going to try and make a dash for the tent. Uh, this seems to be working a little bit better this time around. That's nice. 
And we can also eliminate that guy, of course. Okay, now let's try and see if we can assist Anna's group a little bit here. Hmm, seems like I don't really see anyone, but that that is very deceptive. That is very deceptive. This is exactly how it should have gone the first time, by the way. We should have been, you know, just a little bit more careful as we went around here. And, uh, yeah, obviously I wasn't, so that was not great. Is that guy actually dead? Yeah, I think that guy's actually dead. He, he died pretty pretty quickly there. That guy's dead as well, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is the true urban warfare. I very much wanted to get over here. So we can actually see the true extent to how good the urban warfare AI actually is. And it seems like they're doing a very, very good job of taking cover here. But I'm just obviously mowing them down because I do have this RPK, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a wonderful, wonderful weapon. Is that guy dead? No, he's not dead. Uh, he was actually able to kill one of our FCA Grenadiers before I was able to take him out, which is kind of unfortunate. But anyway, we're going to move our forces in here. Going to try and take them out, I guess. Take the last remaining units out. We are losing a couple of people, but that is to be expected. It's a siege after all. I do have a grenade, so I might actually use that. Ah, yes, our Loki squad is fleeing from the battlefield. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to lose those guys or whether they're just going to go, you know, back onto the party screen or something like that. Hopefully that's going to be the case. Otherwise, I'm just going to try and take out as many units as I can get my hands on. which seems to be working actually really nicely and I am very much appreciative of the the new AI because look at that, they're, they're actually taking cover, they're actually moving to take cover and everything and I'm gonna maybe die? No, maybe not. Alright, let's heal real quick. Make sure that we're all good. I'm actually taking a lot of casualties from over here. What is actually going on over here? Why are they taking so many casualties? There doesn't seem to be any units. This is very strange. There doesn't seem to be any units in that direction. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it's just because the enemy are taking so much cover and doing such a good job at it that we are not seeing them before they eliminate our forces. I guess. Well, let's just go up the stairs here. Maybe get a bit of a vantage point. Alright, we're going to have to tell... Anna to get out of there actually and we're gonna have to tell our other forces to get out of there as well and I guess we'll try and get Poseidon and Artemis in here and uh, try and try and get them to help us out a little bit because it seems like we're having some issues eliminating these last couple of units and that's exactly it previously you know you'd have uh, oh whoop hello sorry uh, yeah <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I, I, I really do find ragdolls very funny, so I uh, don't really mind about these things happening. Oh, yes. Get out of my way. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, anyway. The point is, uh, yeah, previously the AI would just run around and they'd, you know, they'd do a reasonable job at defense. But this is really what you call defense. They are defending, they're holding positions... They're getting into cover, they're actually moving, so they're not actually just, you know, holding position behind a certain area, they're actually moving behind certain pieces of cover. And uh, that is making all the difference, especially considering, ah, there they are. Especially considering they are very effective at eliminating our units, you've seen that. They've, they've been very, very effective at what they've been doing here so far. And I'm kind of worried about running into some... Ah, hello. Hmm, yeah, it seems like we're all good, though. It seems like we're absolutely fine. There doesn't seem to be... 
that much danger anymore, but you never know, you never know. Okay, so we're gonna have to tell someone to get in here, and uh, yeah, it seems like Loki squad actually did completely retreat from the battle, so I <laughs> isn't that isn't that kind of hilarious that the Loki squad decides to do that, considering I've been in so many battles, and literally the only time I remember having a squad literally flee from a battle is when I was first initially playing Freeman and uh, I was kind of unaware about some of the deeper systems in play such as the morale system you know like how it actually works and uh, yeah it seems like Loki is living up to their name very much so being kind of a trickster so yeah it seems like uh, I can't really see where the other enemies might be so I guess we're gonna just have to scout around a little bit. All right, so it looks like I've found their location. It's it's kind of weird, really, how they uh, <laughs> they're over there. Yeah, it's kind of it's, I can't really see them actually because they're very well camouflaged, as you can tell. And uh, I had to use another clip. Isn't that awful? Yes, I said clip again. No, no, no! I'm I'm being punished for using the word clip. Ah, let's run. There we go. Am I am I alive? I am alive just about wow that was uh that's pretty crazy okay so yeah they're actually over here in this small outcropping of rocks and uh that's that's fiendish yeah i think these are the guys that actually eliminated most of our forces from here as you can see look at that that is exactly where they are and uh they are definitely proving themselves to be extremely effective at uh well extermination of our forces and that's not great that's not great at all so we're gonna have to Gonna have to deal with them, and uh, let's see if I'm actually able to do a little. Ah, there we go, there we go. I can see them a little bit more now. Wow, they they're very difficult to take out. You can see that. They're just incredibly difficult to shoot in general, and uh, they're very good. Look at that. I'm actually really surprised at this. I'm somehow unable to hit them. There we go, there's another one. Wow, they're, they're, they're just so difficult to hit. They are really, really difficult to hit. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but yeah, okay. Yeah, look at that. I think there's a, a, a bit of an issue with the, uh, with the bushes here. Look at that. I'm actually shooting at him, but he's not dying. Okay, yeah, I think there's definitely an issue with some of the bushes here. It seems like there's maybe a little bit of an invisible wall that is uh, preventing my bullets from actually hitting them. And look, you can see I'm actually, uh, yeah, floating above the action slightly. So that is indeed the reason why we were having some issues there. But there you go, we actually did survive just about... And uh, we're going to be taking, oh yeah, look at that, some awesome assault rifles and a lot of money and all that wonderful stuff. And uh, yeah, we are, well, that definitely obviously needs to be looked at. That's one of the more, shall we say, serious bugs that I've come across. And uh, I'm sure that the developers are going to get on that. But uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of fearsome actually, because having having that kind of thing happen, especially considering they could fire from the other side of it and actually hit people, and we couldn't? That was really harsh. Very, very harsh indeed. But there you go. I uh, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes, you know. If you're playing an early access game, sometimes you're going to encounter these kinds of bugs. And I'm actually kind of glad that I captured it on video so the developers might actually see what's actually going on and then they can uh, fix it maybe a little quicker who knows anyway that will be it for this episode we were actually still able despite the uh, utter ferocity of that ambush spot right there to be able to take this and uh, next time we're hopefully going to be able to keep and uh, you know keep a hold of it anyway i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time